Good morning. It's Weigh In Wednesday and what I eat in a day. So if you're interested in that kind of content, stay tuned. We're getting into it right now. Here's my lunch for the day. It comes from the Forks Over Knives cookbook, and it is the layered Tex-Mex lasagna. It says serve six to eight. We got eight servings out of it. So it has corn tortillas. I used a mix of black beans, pinto beans. It has corn, black olives, green onions, a bunch of spices. And then on the side is 15 grams of real sour cream. I pretty much only like real sour cream. So the lasagna slice is three points because of the tortillas. And that sour cream is one. So this is my four point lunch. So that was everything I ate today. As you can see if you're new here, I eat uh, mostly a whole foods, plant-based diet. I've been vegetarian for well over 20 years, but moving into this more plant-heavy diet, that's definitely new for me. I mean, I could throw down a plate of nachos with cheese and beans several times a week prior to starting the purple plan this past year. So for me, the way that I'm eating now is, is a little new, but it feels so right. It just, I, I've never felt healthier than I feel right now. So before I go down that road, <laughs> Let me uh, tell you about weigh-in day. So today is Wednesday, I weigh in on Wednesdays, and um, I am thrilled. That's the third week in a row of a big loss for me. I lost one pound this week. I'm gonna put a bunch of numbers up on the screen, but as a reminder, I started at 163.2 pounds in mid-May of 2020, and it is now uh, the end of January, beginning of February. I can't remember the date, but I weighed in today at 135.2, I believe. It's a couple hours ago, so I'll put it up on the screen. 
Anyway, I'm now at uh, 28 pounds lost total. So you may notice that I'm a little bit of a slow loser. You can go onto a lot of Weight Watcher boards and see people who have lost the same amount of weight as I have in a much shorter period of time. Here's why I don't care about that. I decided that I wasn't gonna gain it back. And when I make a decision, I pretty much stick with a decision. And so it honestly doesn't matter how long it takes to come off because it's staying off. I lost about 20 pounds back in 2008, 2009, and I kept that off for the most part for the past decade, 12 years. I would go up, up a little and down a little, but it was always within the same 10 pound range. So when I say I keep things off, I know how to keep things off. And so this is going to be forever, so it doesn't really matter. It's nice to have big losses, but it is okay to have small ones as well. If you are interested in what I think realistic weight loss looks like, I will link a video in the description box below about uh, what I think is realistic weight loss, and it's going to show you every single weigh-in I have had since mid-May of 2020. So you can see I'm losing rapidly right now, but it took me seven months to lose 10 pounds. So I think a couple of things are happening right now. I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I have a friend who made a commitment to her health at the beginning of the calendar year, and we're doing something called the 50-50 plan, a little bit modified, but trying our best to stay on it. So that's when you build a plate, 50% of it is a starch. So potato, brown rice, whole wheat pasta, something like that. And then the other 50% is a non-starchy vegetable. But essentially what you're doing is you're filling up on non-starchy veggies, which is um, not my default. I love starches, I love potatoes and brown rice, I, that sort of thing. And I could eat a plate full of those. I could frankly go a couple of days without eating any veggies. It's very simple for me. So making this commitment with her has pushed me to incorporate more veg vegetables into my diet than I normally do. And I believe that that is contributing to the, the weight loss. So I'm pretty happy about that. So in January, I lost three and a half pounds. So overall, I am pretty happy. I, I feel good. I am moving and grooving, as they say. I, I think I'm doing things right for me. There was one day that I we went to a restaurant and comment below if you'd like me to do a video on how to eat at a restaurant on purple. I'm gonna tell you right now, I, I don't think it's easy. Uh, with the limited number of points that we get and the fact that I'm a vegetarian, it makes it very hard to eat at a restaurant on purple. So at this point in my journey, because I'm confident that I'm not going to binge and I'm not going to slip backwards, I just eat at a restaurant and I don't count those points or I'll zero myself out for the day. I would not recommend doing that if you're new. I think when you're new, you need to track every bite that you put in your mouth. I think that's really important. It's far too easy to slip and to estimate poorly how much you're eating when you're new, but I'm at a point where I can have that one meal and then get right back on the horse without any hesitation. It doesn't tempt me to throw out the whole day and then throw out the whole weekend. So. There was one meal we ate at uh, a Mexican restaurant and I had as many chips as I wanted. Doesn't mean that I make myself sick. I try not to make myself sick with overconsumption. It's not, I hate that feeling as we all do. But uh, other than that, I made all my own food. I stuck to plan and I'm good. I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope you liked it. I hope you're enjoying my channel. If you are, give me a like. That really helps spread the word about the content and the videos that I'm making. And I'd love your suggestions for other things you'd like me to talk about. As always, good luck with your journey. Together, we can do this.